Hello, everybody. This is uh, Andy Revkin at the Earth Institute, and we're trying something novel this morning on our Sustain Wet Sunday Hearts and Hearts broadcast. Today, we're doing a play reading for the first time. We've had poets, songwriters, flutists, even an astronaut who plays flute in space, <laughs> all kinds of wacky things on this show. But this is the first time we're doing this, and it's a wonderful uh, honor to have Karen Malpede and a great cast here to go through a reading of her cli-fi, sci-fi play about futures that are all too plausible, which we might have thought were kind of wacky uh, just a few years ago. And now we're in the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of a climate crisis. And uh, Karen, you're kind of ahead of the game. So I'm going to turn this over to you to, 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 to lay out the, the greetings here. There's some technical issues that have come up this morning, folks. I'm so sorry about the delay. And I'm going to try to show some things toward the end uh, in the meantime. But Karen, over to you. And thank you again for uh, letting us host you here. Thank you, Andy. We're very pleased to be here. And since we're late, I'm not going to say anything. We can chat at the end. Uh, but this is a cli-fi play set in the near future. Uh, the characters are living in a dome under very tight surveillance by the forces that be, the uh, federal forces, whoever they may be working for are controlling them and uh, they are trying to figure out a way forward for the human race. Um, we'll start the play with the introduction of the cast by Arthur Rosen, who's the composer and will be reading the stage directions today. Bravo. I'm going to disappear into the green room now and watch from the behind the scenes. Thank you. Other Than We, A Cli-Fi Fable by Karen Malpee. <clears throat> Time the future, a few years after the deluge of full-scale climate disaster. Inside the dome, a hermetically sealed environment where the privileged remnants of society plus a few refugees who work for them now live. Characters, Michelle or Mick, an obstetrician gynecologist played by Beth Malone. Eve, a neuroscientist demoted to the position of part-time lecturer played by Emily Fury Daly. Tanaka, a refugee, formerly a physician from far away, played by Tommy J. Moore. Opa, a renowned public intellectual, played by George Bartenev. In the bare room of Eve and Michelle, from outside the sounds of many shuffling feet and a low dirge-like chant of many voices, a loudspeaker issues incoherent directives. There is a shot, a scream, a momentary silence. The chant and marching pick up again. Women are wearing out. Make it 7 a.m. The dregs from last night. <sighs> Women are not wearing out. Of course not. You are obedient, still in bed. I'm weeping. No, you are not. Just wondering, what was weeping? When? There was weeping. I'll open a new bottle. <laughs> Somewhere wild things are growing. Levels of radiation and pollutant particles outside the dorm remain lethal. Dream must have been. Eve hands Michelle a piece of paper. Michelle takes it and reads it intently during the follow following exchange. We're on the mandatory list to conceive. Both of us. It's what you do. Implant eggs into wombs. That must be very satisfying for you. Precisely. Just here, there's a problem with that? Mm -mm. Uh, when looked at like this. You mustn't think of it as a demotion. Think again, I love lecturing. We are both quite on track. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I do, absolutely. So, oh, darling, please don't drink so much. Off to work, us. Michelle in their room, drinking from a bottle of red wine. He ventures with Tanaka, standing some distance behind her. It's very good, this coat de Rome. <sighs> Mick. I will ask for a case. 
Amazing wine survived. Aged underground. Is your phone off? Light, full-bodied, tart with a lemony tang. Oh, lemony. What a nice word. Perhaps it's just chemicals. Mm, uh, let me taste. I scrubbed. All of a sudden, her womb ruptured. 25 weeks. I did not say a thing. I pulled them out. Three fetuses, more or less. Preemies, more and more. The brain is not fully developed. Still, we have made great advances. Artificial wombs would terminate the issue, but the placenta to date is non-replicable. Mick. Uh... And women without wombs, used up wombs, used up, exiled, poof, outside the dome. I saved them. Not her. She, she bled out. Placenta goop. I am richly rewarded for my work with Cote de Rhone. Would you like some wine? Mick, my darling, hush. Do you know what we do with the motherless ones? Those born too soon, the deformed? Hush, Mick. Direct from your womb to your dining table. Ha ha, very clever. Solution to the increasing food shortage. Mick. I'm nauseous all the time now. I believe we should walk. They walk out. They return in mid-conversation. They are on an empty street in the dome. Would be opened up. Theoretically. Actually, if we did, when we do, do. On the cortex. Yeah, so that areas of the brain. Let him explain. Okay. Quickly, naturally, with minimal risk, prenatally. We complete the evolutionary leap. It's a simple extension of existing cortical wiring. Like flicking a switch. Might have happened naturally, all by itself. A roll of the evolutionary dice. However did consciousness arise out of matter? From a glob of flesh, thought. Think of that. <laughs> looking down, looking out, looking in for the first time? Or else I believe you considered but this. And you can achieve... Put together. Unify, finally. What might have happened, what might have been ripped, disrupted, hurt when the cortex emerged. Feeling and thought might be connected as was intended. Intended by who or what? The mind is the brain viewed from a distance. From a distance, it is possible to see. Totality. <laughs> Where is he from? You. Where? From? Far from here. Sent? Fled. How'd you get in? They wish to measure the radiation contents of my bones. <laughs> Makes sense. Of course, we won't know. Plausible at best. Nevertheless. We shall try. We will. If you wish. If not. I will be implanting dinner food into... Mick, stop. I have forgotten my past. As one must. I am grateful, cheerful, obedient, industrious. Yeah, one of us. Once a physician. I work as a janitor now. He bows and they part. He came to my lecture. Did I let a dangerous word slip? Is that why he came up? I don't think so. Well, you asked where he was from. You must have thought maybe... Tastes just like chicken. Ugh, stop that, please. I can't stand it. No one remembers what chicken tastes like. Radiation-free puree is delicious. It's running out. You sought me out. I was there. You were there? Where you couldn't see. Why? I wanted to see. Here, I mean. You are checking up. We are coming too close to deciding now. You needed to know. I suppose so. Who are you, really, Michelle? Who are you, Eve? Uh, the woman who loves you? Your love? A dangerous thought. They could do it that way. Send me. Send you. Of course they could. You were in the hospital 
delivering. I was not spying on you. Oh, my darling, how could I think such a thing? You are suggestible. I? Immediately you doubted me. You set me up. So has he. No, he has offered himself. I am not convinced. How could he think it all up? He's using their script. They're on to us? If they are, they would send someone like him. The hospital hall, Tanaka the janitor, is sweeping. Doctor. Are you speaking to me? Excuse me, please, you drop this. I... Yes, onto the floor. I was sweeping just as you walked by. I see. Perhaps it is nothing. I thought, though, you might wish to have it. Oh, forgive me. I'm most sorry to have disturbed you. It's garbage, I'm sure. In that case, allow me to dispose of it. I will take care of it myself. Thank you. Garbage indeed. Michelle enters the room and grabs the bottle of wine. Is your phone off? Of course. I scrubbed. That does it then. Should. Here, darling, a toast to us. They've asked me about my research. Yours? Ridiculous, isn't it? I suppose they're running out of suspects. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I didn't mean it in a demeaning way. You think you're smarter than I. More mechanistic, that's all. I used to write on scraps, fold them up, and stick them in crap cracks. I know how circumspect. Someone in class denounced me. Little shit. Mother Rees I was talking about. He said he signed up for a class in linguistics, not retrofeminism. Mother Rees has a nice ring. I explained the capacity for language comes hardwired in the brain. Still, if mothers do not speak to their children... Language is delayed. So, you are pro motherese. No, I, I, I said as little as I could. In that same class, Tanaka appeared. Can we trust him? I trust him. <laughs> he sticks out in the back of your lecture. But he's right. He's right, all right. We need him. Not if he's setting us up. He can do what we need done, Michelle. I can too now, actually. Uh, I don't think so. Thank you very much. You cannot operate on yourself. You cannot do that. On me, yes, of course. Why did he suddenly appear? He found us, me that is, took a risk. What risk did he take? He engaged me in conversation. Why? He's been coming to my class. At first, I thought just to sweep, straighten up, then suddenly it dawned. And now you've been denounced for some sort of feminist. Uh, I say things I shouldn't. I know I get carried away, but most of my students don't even listen to what I say. Don't be so sure if one denounces you. A complaint, that's all. And here he comes, offering... Suggesting... It's too neat, too neat. It looks like a trap. The missing link. He thinks, that's all. He knows what we need to know. Maybe so. I believe him, Eve. I want to, Michelle. Believe me, then. Do. It's different than knowledge, belief. How did it end, the denouncing, I mean? But without belief, one cannot think. Without someone's adoring gaze, deep looks in the crucial first 18 months of life outside the womb, the inf infant brain, we can say, literally freezes itself. The neurons fail to develop, the infant ceases to become, babies raised as ours or What was motherese once has become biological now. De-evolution outside, also inside the womb. It's possible. And why shouldn't it be to lose what has developed over thousands and thousands of years, biologically speaking? Empathy, imagination. What's left is aggression. Increasing outbreaks of hate. Depression. Better for being eaten, I suppose. For eating, too. Better not to know. <laughs> the hospital hall. Tanaka with dustpan and broom pulls a trash bag. Michelle comes along drinking wine from a flask. 
She bumps into him. Wine spills on her white coat. Why can't you watch out? Sorry, doctor. Forgive, please. You got your filth all over me. Allow me to try. Take your hands off me, scum. I'm terribly sorry. It's a slight stain. Please, take this. You can. More carelessness on your part. I will see you go back where you came from. Thank you, doctor. I understand. In their room, Michelle unwraps the rag Tanaka gave her. He had wrapped it about a metal vial of sperm. My phone is off as yours. I also scrubbed. High quality. Are they his? You have a crush. On you? Yes. <laughs> they are healthy, I can tell you that. Oh, maybe not his. Mixed animal man. Which? A uh, camel, I think. Elephant, horse. Black stallion. How? There's a stash. Interspecies insemination. Us. <sighs> it's the best time for us. Curious how that works. Females in groups. Phases of the moon. Pulling at us even though we can't see. So they'd be all nursing together. Yeah, if one needed more milk. If one mother didn't live. Oh. He's pure, somehow. You do have a crush. So do you. Don't get carried away. <laughs> we don't ask him anything, where he's from. When he doesn't want to say. When he's ready, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Later on, after. Mm -hmm. uh, we are happy here. Of course we are. We are on the list. We reproduce, they're done with us. That's how it works? Weak wombs, substandard eggs. Nevertheless. We are doing our duty, gladly. We offer ourselves. This morning, two vials and dry ice were on my desk. Four star variety. Oh, for one's own, it's only natural to want. There is a five stars after that. I suppose four stars is all right. Yeah, we accept. We might have been asked to report. Did you ask for the privilege? Now that you mention it, I cannot remember whether or not I- No, well, you must have asked, otherwise how- I must have. <gasps> they granted your wish. Michelle empties the two vials of the fish sperm into the garb. I'm honored, in fact. Oh, a mark of respect. I am useful, yes. I <laughs> fertilize, I put them in, pull them out. I'll fertilize yours. I will too, you. <laughs> First, I'm gonna steal your eggs. <laughs> there were birds. When? When there were eggs. My lark, my dove, lover said. Birds coated with oil. Birds drowned in the slough. Birds on the wing. Can one love without birds? We do. Poets wrote about birds. If we had poems, would we have birds? We have plenty of eggs, my lark, my dove. I'm gonna grab a handful. <laughs> that sort of thing turns you on. It does. We are on the list. It's allowed. No, mandated, in fact. Will you teach me how to do you? Can't. Could. Mm. Someone else harvested mine. Mm, harvested. Took them out. I love the sounds of what was. I'll bring you to orgasm just before the eggs excite. Did someone else bring you to orgasm, Nick? I myself did. Oh, my lark, my dove. I'll put them into a dish, show you how to insert a needle inside, squirt some sperm. Oh, we can watch them divide. Indeed. There are a few simple adjustments to make in the healthy zygote before implantation, I mean. Oh, uh, implantation, that's the sexy part. Extraction, fertilization, manipulation, implantation. Additional implanta manipulation in four months' time. Ugh, you love your work. I hate my work. I implant fertilized eggs. None of them take she is exiled outside the dome, or she carries three or four, born premature to be mashed in a blender. Please. I spoil your romantic mood. 
They used to eat birds, wring their necks, pluck them and pull them apart, roast them on a spit. Some months later, the three meet on a deserted street. Michelle and Eve are noticeably pregnant. God, please don't. A sip, I sip. They've asked me for my research. They, the, the mythical they, the, the authorities, they have asked that after my rebuke of several months back, not asked, not precisely, not exactly requested, in, in which case I could say no, politely, subpoenaed. They have subpoenaed my work. God, please, Mick. In Mediterranean companies, they drink. Drank. Drank all the way through. They were birds too. Oh, I feel quite the quite the thing, you know, the object. The object of their what? I don't think it should hurt. In moderation, all things, please. They want my hard drive. What is on your hard drive? Nothing, of course. God, how do I know? What do they want that you have? They were leaving me quite alone. Lecturer, not professor, introductory only until Tanaka. I have no idea, truly, none. That little shithead student stopped coming to my class after the Mother Ease fiasco. I stopped using the word, apologized, but of course now I am, we are both, how do they say, in the motherly way. On the list, both of us. Who knows how that goes? One can't be sure. I cannot, in any case. Was it you, Tanaka? You know it wasn't him. Mm, let him answer for himself. I have put myself at well. Michelle, it might have been. She's been jockeying for position, has she not? Are you out of your mind? I jockey for what? I saw you speaking to him. To whom? To the director, that is to whom? I must speak to the director. I am the liaison. You didn't want to do it yourself. Didn't want to get your hands dirty. I suspect by speaking to the director on our behalf. Our behalf. Mine and hers. That's what liaisons do. The liaison make liaisons. Allegiances come up. They must. When one speaks to the director on one's behalf. On our behalf. I was speaking to him. Oh, there we are. <laughs> you don't think that. It might have been a slip of the tongue. We're not actually accusing you. Accusing, that's not what you're doing. Trying to get to the bottom of things. The bottom, yes. They've subpoenaed my research, my entire computer, plus backup disks. That means they are onto us. I liaison to throw them off the track. Do you? Of course I do. You chose me, Mechanistic Michelle. Trustworthy. Do they know about him? How would I know? Did his name ever come up? It's not my fault I operate. <laughs> His name came up. I do not relish what I do. It does come with a certain privilege. To yeah. liaison with the director, you consider that a privilege. You chose me. We had no choice, really. <laughs> Is that so? Oh. Of course. Stop saying that. If you do, I will. Who do you say is soon what? Ah, nothing is of course, nothing is predetermined to that extent. It is because you are pregnant. If Michelle did not betray me, that is. I defended you. From what? Does she see the old man? The director asked. Of course he did. <laughs> of course not, I said. Of course. Said you were unfit to teach. You gave him my research in my defense. I said she's incredibly smart. You told him what's not on my hard drive. I did not. You told him my theories, my thoughts. I said she is smart, but wrong. You told him my theories of mind. I told him she's gone off the track. You set me up. I said she's unhinged. Oh, you think so? I do not. You gave him enough. You will lose your job. Mm -mm. Exiled, outside the dome. I had to throw him a bone. Bones, mine. We will be gone. He caught me off guard. We will be safe outside the door. They want my research. Just to be sure. There is nothing on your hard drive. Let's take a deep breath and move on. Fine. It's because we're pregnant. I don't want to do this. 
eat. I don't want my body like this to be in this way, belching, farting, full of gas. I don't want to be used by it. invaded I'm a, a mother. What a ridiculous, stupid, insane, ridiculous, cruel thought. Me, I, I never had. A, I hated my mother. How how could I? Now I'm now I'm trapped. I'm not myself. I'm not. I I I don't exist. I can take it out. Please, I think that you can't. You can't. I could. I don't trust either of you. You set me up. I believe your pregnancy has already been noted. I will do an abortion. Don't. No, you can't. They know I'm on the list. I can't stop. I'm, 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 I'm not. I don't have a self. I'm eaten up. It's a natural feeling. How do you know? I have known women. Huh, known them. Sure. You won't really be a mother, you do realize. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm, I'm fine. Better now. It was... Um, such a fear washed over you. That's what it was, not over, up up, up from inside as if I'm... I know. You do? The accusations take a toll. They do. Not being trusted. It's what they want. But nothing is on your hard drive. How do you know what is on my hard drive? They want to know what you know about me. What do they know about you? Absolutely nothing at all. I passed Eve a USB stick in the hall. You did not. I put it into your pocket. I took it out that night. <laughs> you put me at risk and now they want my fucking research? I needed to see it written out. My research I memorize? I destroyed the USB stick. How do you do that? With a brick. I scattered the pieces as I walked. We cannot go on like this. You understood the procedure? It's so simple, elegant. It must be right. But now they have subpoenaed your research. We don't need to keep saying that. You don't write anything down. But you need to see things written out. I had to share my thoughts. Not on a USB stick, I do not. It's too early to do the procedure. Can we wait a week? Even so. I haven't given them my hard drive. They've got it, of course. There's nothing on it. You keep saying that? Somehow I resent it. I meant written down. My research happens to be of the utmost importance. To us, it is, yes. To them, too, I suppose. <sighs> they have found out where all the neural pathways reside. Great advance. They will attach electrodes. Mm -hmm. Read every brainwave, yes. Complete surveillance, total. They think the flesh is all there is. They want to know what you know. Mind can resist, I know that much. They need to eradicate that. <laughs> Mind exists on a non-material plane. Inaccessible to them. The cortical extension we propose <gasps> must remain, so to speak, out of mind if they are to exert full control. They will charge you with criminal intent. Mind is what hasn't happened yet. Fomenting rebellion. Mind is vision. No matter how many brain waves they colonize. Neurons get fired up just by being looked at. I think it might be all right. By being seen, does mind come into being? They can't figure that out. Not by what I told them they can't. In the spaces between, Mind is. I can do the procedure. I doubt that. We agree. It's too early. It won't stick. If they're on to us, it will be too late. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. There's nothing to be sorry about. I'm sorry, nevertheless. One can be innocent and sorry. You are over-emotional because you are pregnant. All right, I'm over it. Good. <laughs> it is because... Our sudden advance. Mind force, ours. We're so close. Four months is the absolute minimum. I have to get Opa. It will be fine, I assure you. Now, then, it has to be. <laughs> I forbid. You forbid? Eve. Michelle. I, I see it. I can do it now. Uh, Opa will say he knew all along. Opa can't stand not to be the smartest person in the room. <laughs> I am most eager to meet him. A few days later, dark door opens. 
an empty examination room. I need light. Clean. Clean. I know where things are. Eve should be here. There's a table. Lie down, Michelle, please. <sighs> Laparoscopic. Will not hurt too much. I hope not. I can endure it. We will talk as I work. Check the list. Radiation resistance. Heat tolerance to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Oof, ouch. Oh, sorry. No, I meant that hot. It's September now. 90 plus degrees outside the dome. Fast on their feet. Two or four legs as they choose. <laughs> Hands with opposable thumbs. Arms. Large water storage capacity. Herbivores. Omnivores, when and if. Can you see where the cortex might be? I can. Where is Eve? Don't move. There. Thought connected to the gut brain. I reinforce the vestigial empathy centers just here. Good. I believe so. Androgynous. We intend. We've done it then. Head, heart, connection. Perhaps so. Eve enters, distressed. Her shirt is bloody. I'm late. Where are you hurt? It's not her blood. Outbreak of hate. All the time now. Dark-skinned man on the street. Angry guy pulls out a knife. The dome belongs to people like me. Throat slashed, falls into me on the ground, on top. If it had been you, Mick, you would have stuck your finger in the right spot. Like a geyser, blood spurting, choking, till everyone that I love them, he said, dies in my lap. Please take that shirt off. I left him on the street, ran. His body, you mean. You were there for him. All right, my love, all, all right. right. It's his blood, let it stay. Darling, you were wonderful, brave. Neck slash on the street. The hate just comes boiling up, flooding up. God, a geyser it was. We must do the procedure. Darling, yes, lay down. Oh no, do you think I, I might lose them? Women do shock, shock, and shock, shock. I, 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 I don't, I don't want to lose them. I need to tell them what he said. Tell your child I love. You will not lose them. I, I feel cramping. We need to fix a few things. What things? We've talked this through. So the ones inside you might be proof. We are not liable to control. He was not. Geysers of hate are not enough. Tell everyone that I love them. Can, can, can you make that happen with a needle inside an egg? We can optimize the chances. They will need us, even so. Opa is immersed in reading. Eve enters from behind, climbing through the window so he cannot see her. Opa, tell me a story. A story? About the bad days when you were a boy, but everyone was good. There was no food, there was no work, but everyone was nice. <laughs> there was hope. Hope. Shh, I'm back. How did you get in? The night guard, one of them. Is one of us. Hello, Opa. Evie, we thought you'd gone over to- Yeah, why not? Mother did. <laughs> Your mother bought our way into the dome with her doomed marriage, if that's what you mean. I'm not grateful, if that's what you expect. How could you leave us like that? She- I know, I know. Even after you said those things, she wanted to see you. I couldn't, Opa. I was busy with work. Work? You hurt her so, Evie. Your house is always watched. Of course. <laughs> they needed to think that I... I needed to convince them that I wasn't... Oh. Yes. 
she loved you. She wanted to see you once before. Sure, sure. I know, I know. Oh, it was painful and quick. I am sorry, Opa. I'm certain you are. <laughs> Do you still walk, Opa? I can walk, of course. <clears throat> It's all right. We can sit. She puts her hands under his arms to help him, and he gets up out of the chair. What about Evie? Look at you. You are. I am. <laughs> but who? I thought. Right. Um, Never mind. Whoever <laughs> is fine. It's not done that way anymore. With bodies, sweat. No. Needles, petri dishes. How has it always been you, whatever you wanted me to do? Forever, Opa. We always said. You were gone so long. Back now. I won't leave you again. They let me work here undisturbed. I can broadcast outside the door. I know that. That's good. Some people somewhere listen to you if there are people somewhere else. Oh, I anyway have a full set. Yeah. Here's my latest. Life inside the dome is increasingly untenable. We need not speak of the food, which everyone knows the rumors of what it contains. More lethal, though not remarked upon. The aquifer upon which the dome was built has all but run out. This has not been made public knowledge as of yet. <clears throat> oh, purification of the same air, likewise, is no longer sustainable. Life inside the dome for the privileged few is likely to, to cease long before. Shh, here, Opa. I'm here. She guides him toward the door. I'm not uh, leaving you. Oh, you are a neuroscientist. I assume you are in the authorities' employ. A lecturer, merely. You are more brilliant than that. Ugh, I always hated it when you and Mother... Brilliant, so what? <laughs> Better than not. Sure enough. Brilliant for what? You always had your way with me. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought you were a wise old owl watching over me. Hooting, hoo hoo, what what? Where are you? Uh, let's not speak anymore, dearest Opa. Let's just be quiet and sit. Let me rest my head on your lap. Eve leads Opa out the door. Ramps, fiddleheads, asparagus, purslane. There might be mushrooms in many varieties. Chanterelle, porcine, bolette, morels. Eve loved the sounds of food, lemony, strawberries low to the ground. We can live. There is natural radiation in fungi. It will build their resistance. Eve is not here. I know Eve is not here. Strange, isn't it? I, I ought to miss her. You do not? I'm happy. <laughs> Who wouldn't be? Are you? I never actually thought I'd see earth, sky, live in the woods. Strange how familiar it feels. I saw a cardinal this morning, at least a red bird, maybe, a, a flash of red in the sky. This spot has been spared the worst. We'll have mugwort and peppermint for tea. They act medicinally. Nettles, watercress, scape, arugula, dandelion leaves, a salad. Just think. How could I not be happy, Tanaka? Without Eve? Where were you, Tanaka, when it happened? On the other side? I think there were insides. I'm sorry, of course not. I came this way on my way. A family had taken refuge here. It's a gentle spot. They built themselves this shelter that we use. I buried their bones. Over the rise is one of those huge cars. Um, what did they call them? Ah, uh, SUVs. 
when it happens to you, there isn't time. You hope that later someone comes along and oh, Tanaka. do something with the bones. Say a prayer, I wonder, to whom? I seated this spot. Where our children will be born. I don't think of them as ours. Not children either, I suppose. I carried seeds in my pockets. I, I hoped sometime. You could seed the land for your family, Tanaka. We require Eve and the wise man. The underground wanted him to teach the refugees stuck in the nether space outside the dome. You told me yourself. Yeah. I'd make a ramp tart. I would need milk, butter, eggs. We'd need chickens, a cow. Boil ramps, asparagus, fiddleheads. Be happy for a while. Feel sun on your face. I was standing in the sun. There at my feet, asparagus stalks. I bent. The earth smelled like sex. If we had salt. Salt. Salt, Tanaka. Did you ever taste? <laughs> I had a grandmother too. Pinch of salt, add. <laughs> the same in each language. Tanaka, take these two stalks, put them into my vagina. They will taste good. Salt, Tanaka. Salt, think of salt. You remember the taste. Take two, swirl them in me. She Salt. turns her back to him. He lifts her skirt, puts two into her vagina, hands her one. They each take a bite. Think of it, Tanaka. Suddenly, without warning, a lump of flesh saw itself. Matter convulsed and rife with self-knowledge. Felt, not just hunger or pain, felt feelings, we might say. Felt self spoke. Flesh became conscious being looking out. At first, there was only the all knowing, a universe humming. That sounds strikingly like God. God is what unified consciousness came to call itself, or the gods, forces residing in us we once resided in. Life first knew of itself as being, as did, unified being. Did not know rather was. Knowing implies not being able to know, most of all. But they will know more than we. How could they? They will know peace within themselves. They might dwell more completely in uncertainty if they are not afraid of fear. That is my hope. But if they will be more tender than we, tenderer. They will be tender. I shall name one of mine. Tender, yes. They will live long lives, running free, tender, and I don't know yet. You need not name. Perhaps it's bad luck. Wait until you see them. It doesn't matter, does it, what happens to us once it's done? I think not. They won't need as much. They might not relate to us at all. Oh. Um. Oh. As long as they're healthy, you know. And smart and strong. As long as they're good. It's what parents have always wanted. Then why did, why did it happen as it did? Evolution got stuck. We are not parents, really. Carriers, merely. Nurturers, maybe. They won't be like, they will be... Other than we. Eve and Opa are in the back of an old truck, a tarp over their heads. It's raining. We have no idea, none, what actually is the nature of the creatures who are inside us. Who will they be? Why and what for? I find this miraculous. Foolhardy, outright dangerous. Uh, all pregnant women, I think, feel this way, felt this way, I should say. Don't be, Opa. 
to do this in your own body to your own self? We had no choice. Oh, to do it to others is unforgivable. I wish the rain would stop. Lord. Oh. I wish the rain would stop. I worry about you on, on these rough roads. I worry about you catching a chill. Snuggle up. <laughs> like when I was little, you'd tell me something wonderful, we'd snuggle up. <laughs> Ugh, I'm so hungry in the country. I... Is, <laughs> if there is country. Yeah, a spot somewhere. More or less radiation free, less immediately lethal anyway, where we can stay for a bit spot nestled in hills. Tanaka saw it on his way. We might be able to eat food. <laughs> you think there will be food? Mick knows how to gather things in from the woods. I would so much like to eat a wild strawberry once again. <laughs> Feel that explosion on my tongue. <laughs> you have no idea what that's like, do you? Yeah. I suppose sex is... Oh, uh, well, yes, of course. Uh, somewhat. What is better, Opa, wild strawberries or sex? It was a film you wouldn't know. Tell. I'm too worried about you. Truly, I thought you'd be pleased. How could you think such a thing? Because something had to be done. That does not make it advisable nor doable. What do you suggest? Resistance? Populist uprising? You know who I am, what I say. It didn't happen. It might someday. The human brain can devolve, has. Human action, perhaps, not the ability to think. Where does thought come from, Opa? Did thought create language or vice versa? We have no idea. This leap of self outside the self that allows the self all of a sudden to look in and... Michelangelo's hand of God. What? The painting on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. An old man <clears throat> reaches down from the heavens, quite literal, the uh, fresco was. Uh, he extended his finger toward the young Adam. And then? Then Evie was the Renaissance, yeah. looking out, looking in, an explosion of thought. Uh, patriarchal, of course, uh, yeah. useful nevertheless. The brain rewired itself. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps the man on the ceiling is inventing the god who animated him. Mick and Tanaka could tell precisely which neural pathways required extension, making my theory flesh. Is that not amazing? Wiggle jiggle. I'm going to jump from this truck. Opa, sit. I'm not a dog, nor is thought a, 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 a switch that you can turn on and off, nor is it a piece of the puzzle called brain that your friends can manipulate. We know what we're doing, Opa. Impossible. You believe in stumbling along, exhorting others to change. I am a very old man. And I'm young. I can't wait. To ruin your life as your mother feared you would do? <sighs> mother was jealous of me. She knew you better than I. Oh, yes. You always defended me. Yes, now I am finally horrified. Yes. You admit you know nothing, yet you judge. You kidnapped me. We need you. In nonsense. Ugh. There is a mind we can access, Opa, over us. A, a think-feel mind of the universe. I believe I could have proved it someday. I believe we have put it in them, rewired their brains so they know they will belong. It is marvelous, truly. Evie, you have stuffed your own belly. You will give birth to who knows what, mute ignorant beasts who may suffer terribly. Or eat us up. Oh, a bad fairy tale. They will speak. A babble, perhaps, snort. Our best knowledge, empirical and not, suggests we are advancing life. Oh, by creating predators for homo sapiens. 
If any of our sort remains, we won't be able to take over again. Species side? How could you be a party to that? <sighs> They'll have four legs, Opa. Plus arms, hands. They'll be able to run like the wind. Oh, oh they chose coming back to my speech, I mean. What a lovely expression, that. Stop. I cannot anymore. Oh, Opa, your heart? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, Opa, let me massage. I am the last. Opa, oh, breathe. Aristotle, Van Humboldt, Spinoza, the rest who can think along these, alongside. Oh, the loss. It was overwhelming. I, that's all. But that's why we need you to give them what was. But Opa, you must absolutely include women. Of course. <laughs> um, uh, uh, mm. uh, Emma Goldman. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, uh, Angela Davis. Uh, Tony Morrison. Yeah. We need you to tell our story to them. You assume they can comprehend? They can. Oh, so they won't eat us up. Oh, don't give them ideas, Opa. Babies can hear in the womb. Babies? My God. They will be. Cuddly babies with hooves. That is how I see them myself, with bright what? eyes. What? <laughs> oh, um... They, they will take us no further than this. Come, Opa, we need to get out. We will die on the road. No, no, there's a cave. We can find it with our hands. And Tanaka will come sometime. Oh, I'm starved. There will be provisions inside. Are you sane, Evie? Are you any longer in your right mind? I'm not my mother, Opa. Don't fear. Tanaka was here before us. That means he knows where we are. In the clearing, Michelle is on a pallet bed. Eve very pregnant, paces. We were in a cave without even water. Poor Eve. What about you? Here I am. Fine. We were chained to the wall, legs and arms. The exiles are trained to do such things. To get food or to get back inside. They're very sweet, aren't they? Oh, very sweet. <laughs> Tanaka and Opa are entranced. We're halfway there. They're nursing them now. We found you on the floor in a diabetic coma. Half are still inside, but alive. Alive. All of us. First of all, I thought I... Ugh, never mind. Go ahead, tell me. No, it's too much. <laughs> it's good for you to talk. I'm interested, too. It happened to you. Yes, well, it was freezing. Our limbs began to cramp. We both began to think, this is it. We are going to die here. <laughs> and therefore, quite naturally, it seemed, Opa began to sing. Viva la quince brigada, rumbala, rumbala, rumbala. <laughs> We were starving, freezing. We, we could not move, but we began to feel connected to a lineage. We stopped thinking about dying. It felt more as if we were about to be swept up into large, warm arms. There were voices all around us harmonizing, echoes bouncing off the cave walls. I began to look forward to it, really. I thought soon all of this unpleasantness will be over. I'll be with my own kind. Opa was ecstatic. He began to see people he used to know. He sat up straight, a, a great smile on his face, singing alongside them. There were so many brave, smart people Opa saw on the other side. It would be like going home. You really think so? I have no idea at all. <laughs> <laughs>
you were hallucinating. In a state of such mortal fear, your endorphins came to your rescue. You can't actually believe. But we both experienced the exact same thing. Your mother? Yes, even she. Well, that's good. Odd. She just popped into my head how we all used to sing. Well, now that you're about to give birth, I suppose. Before the deluge. Mostly I was thrilled for Opa. I'd never <laughs> seen him as happy as if everything he's ever fought for was pie in the sky when you die. Don't make fun. I'm not because at the same time, roughly, give or take, I began to experience the worst pains of my life. I mean, we knew it would be a C-section, as you will need. No, 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 not, not if I can help it. <laughs> you will. You can see how they are, little sharp hooves and all. I did not want them stuck in my birth canal. I could operate on, if I could operate on myself, there would be a chance they would survive. You would come or not, but the two of them would be out. An animal would find them and raise them, a wolf mother. Your endorphins likewise kicked That in. was the story I told myself. I also began to feel exhilarated. There is no other word. I grabbed hold of a very sharp scalpel. We found you collapsed, cut open. One was out wiggling on the ground. One was stuck, but hoof hand and face were visible. They were breathing. So were you, barely. I could have lifted it out. I was coming back awake. No doubt you could have. I would have reached inside. Sure. You could have bled to death, my darling. But they would have survived. They did. So did you. I used spider webs to staunch the blood. I had gathered them in the woods. There are spiders weaving webs. <laughs> it felt criminal to rip them down, but I could think of nothing else. You knew you would operate on yourself? I thought I might. Once Tanaka left, I arranged my things. They worked. The spider webs better than stitches, I think. <sighs> my darling, you were so brave. Labor started, then stopped. And I could no longer feel them move. Yeah, you risked your own life. That's what I can't forgive you for. <laughs> my life. You'll have quite a scar. You almost died. It's difficult to say. It was like being swept up into music, going into song. But Tanaka came and here we are. Can I lie down? I'm very tired. Hmm. Did you have sex with Tanaka, Michelle? Rest. Who knows when your labor will start? Tanaka and Opa stand together in the clearing, each with a newbie at the breast. They are nursing. It's lovely. It's conducive to thoughts. Indeed, it is. What are you what are you thinking of? Yes. I am thinking of you. Me. Uh, yes, whom I don't know actually. Mm -hmm. How you did this. The women could not at this moment. Michelle has lost too much blood. She has nursed. For bonding, for looking in their eyes solely. So fully. <laughs> the important part. Oh, the uh, supplying the actual nutrients is left up to us. <laughs> Quite simple, really. It might have been figured out if given priority, of course. It was never given that. <laughs> You saw for yourself a simple series of shots. Would history have been different if... History was meant to be as it was, so that there is now. You believe that? I seldom say otherwise. Then what you believe? It's not conducive to thought. I agree. 
We yeah. operate on similar standards, quite like mine. One must speak as one thinks. Thought before speech. One need not speak, but language is required in order to think. <laughs> you ask me who I am, where I come from. I would like to know. Oh, you move to the other breast now. Oh, right. Hmm. One is used up, the other fills up. Neat. <laughs> Evolution usually is. Tell me, Tanaka, what you thought you were doing when you violated nature so. We wish to pick up where evolution left off, where evolution would likely have gone. And you knew the way. You also said similar things. Well, I wanted democratic solutions, not engineered creatures. I advocated mutual respect, individual liberty, public interest in the public good. Oh, whew, that's just quite an extraordinary experience. <laughs> you felt the rush when the milk came in. It's a bit like an orgasm. <laughs> that is oxytocin, the empathy hormone being released. I see. Inside their brains, neurons are growing because of you looking. Well, your recipe requires human beings. It came to pass that most of the human race was traumatized. Ah, uh, the ability to think ought to have been enough. Empathy was being lost. There were forces at work, eco economic. Nothing explains the actions of human beings over time, but that some essential biological connection remained unmade. And you believe in the quick mechanistic fix? You, the last humanist. And you, what do you call yourself? I call myself Tanaka. Oh, don't be smart. I'm asking a rational question. It's not a matter of rational thinking. It's a matter of seeing. I saw what needed doing. Eve and Michelle were engaged in similar acts of seeing and our energy fields connected us. Oh, sounds like blah, blah to me. Oh, this one has rather bright eyes. <laughs> he is a, quite an intelligent, inquisitive expression, don't you? Oh, it's true. You're as smart as you are. <laughs> they will be wise. I won't go that far. Keep pouring yourself into them. Eve, very pregnant, she comes upon Tanaka agitated. What's wrong, Tanaka? I've been nursing the newbies with Opa. And? He made me question myself. <laughs> he has that way, I'm afraid. It is why we wanted him with us. You are upset. The past. Reared itself. Tanako, what happened to you? I saw my family swept away in the deluge. After the rains, the winds, the floods, the water rushed. A little girl of three with the brightest, roundest, blackest eyes in the world. I was holding her hand. My wife, a woman of such intelligence and instinct. We often needed barely to speak. We read one another's minds. With our son in her arms, a fat, smiling baby. Fed at the same place where I often suckled myself. They were gone while I watched it. Was I trying to swim? Was I? I, I do not know. I saw the water as a war, a force I've never seen before. I must have let go. 
Smack, I, I, I thought something like that, and I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Stop. Please. Many have seen what I did. Did what I did. Many have lost everything. Most let go. But there's worse. On the road, walking inland, walking uphill, staggering away from the sea, a woman, battered by branches, cut and scarred, sea stuck in her hair, asked if I might take her child. She had a baby in her arms and she felt she could not go on. She wished to pass the child to me. Maybe I could take it somewhere. I, I was walking, I, I was strong enough, I passed. I acted as if I had not even heard. P perhaps she had not said anything at all. Perhaps she had only looked and I saw as to see it my wife without words what was needed. I walked faster. As fast as I could walk, I walked away from her. I believe she sat down with her child to die as I walked past. Homo sapiens became narrow-minded and selfish. They grew to think only of their own selves. They became limited in their compassion. I wish to go on mechanically walking. Without walking, I walked. I kept on walking, saving myself. We cannot look ahead. We cannot stop ourselves from grasping. We are afraid of death. We walk away. We walk past the suffering of others. The suffering of others does not touch us as long as we walk. We refuse to look. Even without a future. Even without a plan. I walked on and on. One day, it came to me, something slight. For the first time in a long time, I was able to hear my heartbeat. I began to walk in tune with that. I thought, suddenly it was not a thought, it, it was a feeling welling up and I knew there would come a day, a time to come when it's ignorance would end, when the heart and the head would beat inside in unison, a thrum. It might not happen to us. I had given up on people, or myself I'd given up, but I understood there would come a different moment, a turn in years, perhaps sooner than we did the wish, where life would reinsert itself. And there will come a new, noble race of creatures who will be capable of living fully, who would want the best for others, who would understand themselves as a part of, not apart from who would neither fear nor despise, who would recognize, who would bear their lives gladly, willingly, with strength and with joy welling up, and they will be happy and fearless and careful and generous and kind. Tanaka, yes, I, I believe that too. I really do. <laughs> stopped in their tracks, they would never be able to walk away. Anyone can understand why you did. Not them. They would not understand. They could not physically do as I did. They would have not been able to move. They would take that child, bear any burden, would not think only of themselves, would not live in fear. You need to give birth to the other two. If I could have done so, I would have. But this has fallen on you. Eve finally is beginning to have labor pains. Michelle is at the table readying things. Where's Tanaka? One of the newbies is sick. One of mine, obviously. I didn't want it to end like this. Nothing is ending. You're having some babies. It's a beginning. Tanaka is not here to help. 
I can handle it, darling. Oh, my hero. <laughs> Always my strong, capable Mick. Yes, but let me think for a minute. Let me think. You are not going to cut into me. Ooh. Breathe. I know how. It won't hurt much. Tanaka is nursing your children. You made love to him while I lay in a cave starving. You were singing. What was it like? It was nice. Very nice. Gentle, in fact. How could you do such a thing? I've got your children inside of me. My DNA. Tanaka's too. Yours. Who knows who else? No, ours. Our children. Not for long. Inside you, I mean. Do you love yours? Tanaka certainly does. You, I'm asking you. Look, you can't tell until we get them out. I've seen it. I used to see it in the early days in the dome when people were trying, pretending, I suppose, to go on as normal, relieved. The woman you thought had everything, bright, nice husband, would freeze, literally turn away when you put the infant on her chest. And someone else in a far more difficult situation, perhaps alone, without a companion, even about to be exiled, would yelp with delight, fall madly in love. Which child would end up with a better life? The one with the rich parents. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it came to, didn't it? That's why we're here, isn't it? I suppose so. So let's get them out and get on with it. I think I'm a coward. I never thought so before. It's all right. We never do know. I'm going to cut you open. No, no, you are not. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take a walk. Just one last walk outside. Think of that. I've, I've, never, I've hardly ever been outside my whole entire life. I'll come with you. No, please, just, just a minute alone. You stay here and ready things. Some hours later, outside the hut. Where is Eve Tanaka? I have not seen her. She went for a walk. She is afraid of a cesarean. I wished to perform a C-section last night, but she convinced me to wait. So you let her escape. I understood her wish to experience as much as she could. Eve always gets her way to do exactly what, to put her own life and all of our work at risk. I understood her wish to know what her body could do. It seemed to me to be perfectly normal. <sighs> that is a word that has no meaning. Eve enters deep into labor, clinging to Opa. Stay away from him, from her. All right, she's back. Help her, please. Get the equipment, Tanaka. Get the knife. I must look. Hold her up. Oh, I'm in labor. Big one. It's 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 natural. It's normal. It's unbearable. I, I can't stand it. Help me, please. Oh, my dear. Help her, Tanaka. Breathe. You must breathe. Breathe with her, Michelle. Opa, I must discover. Look, we're going to cut them out right now. Tanaka, please knock her out. Oh, I can't do it. Please stop. Oh, my dear, breathe. All right, you're fully dilated. You must push. What? They are down too far in the birth canal to cut. Eve, you will be able to give birth, but you must push. Let us straighten her up. Are you out of your mind? Cut them out right now, or I will do it myself. Stay where you are. Breathe with her, please. They're down too far? Oh, my dear, breathe. One, two. They're in your birth canal. I can do it. Yes, oh. yes, Eve, you must. Save them, I, I don't care, just cut me, please. Push, I tell you, push now. You don't care about your own life, you idiot, you fool. Sacrifice me. All right, hold it up so that gravity can take hold. Dad. The girl takes over from Opa, holding Eve up, helping her squat. Opa begins to pay. Are they going to come out? Oh, please, just kill me. Kill me. Let them live. Oh, my dear child. Shut up and push. There are legs. This one's all legs. Fuck, push. I can grab the rump. Here. 
Here. Oh, I can't. One more time. You can. You must push. One more time. Here. Oh. I have nothing to rap. Here. Opa takes the newbie and resumes pacing. Help me, please. Just, oh. There are two of them. God damn it, two. Where the fuck is the other little sucker? Let me strangle it and get it out. Okay, I can't. I can't do it. I am so tired. I cannot do this. Oh, my dear child. I can feel the head. Push. The child is here. I will pull. The child, he calls it. It is something like that. Oh. Wiggler, this one is. Look at that. A oh, hoof with toes, finger, a thumb. Look at you looking out. Oh, how can. Oh. Well, this, this. Good, good. There's two. Two, please give them to me. Oh, are they are they alert? Are they alert? Uh, eyes are closed. No, 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 no. Conscious, I meant. Too early to tell. Oh, woke right up. Look at you looking out. Let me let me hold them. <sighs> oh. oh, it's mama, baby. Uh, in a manner of speaking. Uh, great grandpa, too. I suppose so. Uh, where's the other? Uh, Tanaka, please give me. Oh, look. Look at them. Oh, look. Look what I've done. <laughs> Hello, little ones. Oh, two. Oh, how precious. How sweet, my ones. Oh, how lovely. Oh, my darling, darlingest dears. Mother of the year. Oh, don't make fun of me, Michelle, just because you... <laughs> Mm. Mm. Let us take them from you. No, 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 no. I, I, I want to hold them. Look, we will nurse. Oh, Opa, look. My sweetest, oh. sweetest, sweetest in all the world. My sweetest, darlingest. <laughs> you put your mommy through something. You really did, but we, we, we made it. We, oh, what loves, what loves they are. Oh, I feel so good. I feel like I could, I could help me, help me get up. Oh, you feel no pain? Pain. We need to get the afterbirth. I feel perhaps we should go somewhere more sterile. No, no, I, I gave birth on the earth. On earth, I gave birth to a new race. True to your name. <laughs> Evie, my child, you've done what you said. Oh, they are beautiful, Opa, aren't they? Uh, interesting, I can say that. <laughs> oh, look at you, looking back. <laughs> Thought. <laughs> oh, to be wished, never mind. You are alive. Let us get you up. Yeah, we give birth astride the earth. The light gleams. When we die, we enter her womb, decomposed to be born again. Oh, Tanaka, if men could experience this. <laughs> They're hungry again. Uh, help me up. Let's go, nurse. We will feed. No worry, my child. I can manage this now. <laughs> my milk is coming in. <laughs> you might have died. You might have died and left me. Oh, my darling, you were the one who almost died, who had no one, who cut yourself open all alone. I had you, Tanaka, and Opa. I simply wanted to know. Eve is holding her two newborn newbies, singing to them softly. Michelle enters with her empty bucket. Tanaka and I autopsy the... Oh, Michelle. Don't owe Michelle me. It had to be done. We buried it. It. What do you want me to say? We found nothing out. Of course, up here, wherever we are, we have nothing to work with, no real way to tissue to test. Everything looked perfectly normal to the eye. It must be so difficult. Stop. Michelle. Don't. What? Don't say, dear Michelle, don't. I won't. Good. Tanaka said a few words. I wish I had been there. I couldn't have done it if you had been standing there. 
looking at me with pity. I'm sorry. I could not have borne it. Oh. Born it. But I did. I bore it. And now I bear this. Yes. It's the worst. The absolute worst. Losing a child. People say, and you nod your head, they say, I've never before knew what love was, they say. They don't know how to go on. I've stood next to them. I've held their hands. They wept on my shoulders in another life when there was that. Surgically clean environments, fluorescent lights. I've patted them on the back, walked away for coffee in the canteen for a good laugh. I understood, I thought. I thought I actually understood. There is nothing worse than losing a child. But this, this, this has hit me so hard. It was mine. I bled on the ground for it. Of course, my love. Don't, don't talk. I can't, I can't. I would have given my life. I thought if you and Tanaka never came back, those two somehow, maybe a wolf would save them. There were their stories like that from when I was, we used to have, and now when we have so little, when we've lost so much, I just, I can't. Michelle, please let me hold you. Don't come near me. Don't touch me. I don't deserve to be held. I don't want to be touched. I cannot bear your foolish kindness, your empathy. It's that that I cannot stand. Don't forgive me. Forgive you? Yes. Can't you see how tainted I am? How I brought it on myself? How I deserve everything I get? I drank. Nick, you are hurting yourself more than you than than I deserve. It's not possible to hurt more than more than I more than you hurt. I know, and I I am so so no, so no so full of love for you. Stop. You did nothing wrong. It happened. These things happen. We can't understand even with instruments, tests. The results would likely be inconclusive. We don't know everything. Why some live, why we lived, why some give up. We can't, you know that as a physician, you more than anyone, we cannot control anything. We ought not to have tried. What, give up? We had to do something. Sometimes I imagine there are other bands out there like us doing things, birthing new ones, going on. And now this. We have three left. I wanted for a change. I wanted to have what everyone had. What was yours? They are all ours. Our genes are so mixed. It came from my body, from me. Not it. Did you name it? Tanaka must have when he said a few words. What did he call it, please? Surrender. That's what he said. It's a beautiful name. Give up. No, we won't. We will surrender, surrender. We will surrender him, her. I think he said sunder. Oh, sunder, that's lovely. Sunder, as in cut from me. Yes. That is what it was. Sunder, I said, leaving us sundered, unlimbed, torn. That is how it came to pass. They took everything from me. They used up the earth and I vowed not revenge, no. I vowed what we have done, a new species, a new kind. I thank you for your help. I thank you for your belief. I think the three that have survived. And I think Sunder too. I think Sunder for showing us that we are still capable of grief. Some months later, Michelle bringing food in encounters Opa pacing. I'm trying to stretch the soup. Now they're eating so much. The foraging is thin. I've got a few roots, wild onion, Preparing my lesson plan, they're curious, smart. 
We will have to move north. It will be spring. Heat. Floods. If I had books. You must have stories in your head. How to tell consciousness. Self. In a rhyme. Poof. Ah. I learned to read when I was five from the titles of books scattered all about. <laughs> oh. How can there be being and nothingness? I was said to have asked my mother. <laughs> how indeed, Opa, how? I will teach them about Thoreau. Mm. I know how to implant, operate, not Thoreau. On his deathbed, he said, I have loved nature so. Mechanically useful, I've been. I've lived in my head, useless to all but myself. I was never educated. All that had vanished. How to cut, slice, stick in my hand, do whatever they wanted done. I fought my way into the dome. I'm sorry, I had no idea. He let me cry in her arms while she sang, while she quoted you, Opa. Gravity and grace, eros and civilization, uh, the wretched of the earth. Oh, I carried whole worlds in my head. Oh. Your thoughts made me suddenly know one could forge a self somewhere inside, outside their control. People think, I thought. Yeah, they use language to tell us what they know. I can think alongside. I carry will, universes in my head. <laughs> how will I feed all of us? Oh, they follow me with bright eyes, nod their heads. They eat so much. I can't bear the thought. Thought might cease. I must put up the soup. I must simplify. Speak little, tell much. What I wouldn't give for a potato. Sometime later, outside, Michelle has been looking for everyone. Tanaka enters. Here you are, thank goodness. Where is everyone else? Eve is with them. They've taken Opa, kidnapped him. Impossible. Miraculous Grossbert, program <laughs> in. They were infants, babies, a moment ago, kids. They could not do nothing for themselves. They could not have gone so fast. They could not have grown up. They are children. They must be hiding. Opa must have set them up for a game. Hide and seek. That must be it. Yeah, his things were strewn about. What things does Opa have? The bark he writes on. Shoes. He never leaves them behind. He stuffs the bark into his pockets so he can jot things down all the time. He does not go about in bare feet. They've kidnapped him. Yeah, so I said. They have free will. Proof. <sighs> They are children, nevertheless. Have to get on with it. With what? Growing up. Well, that's what we are here for, to parent and advise. It's going to get too hot to survive. We have to go north, fast. We've done nothing to prepare. We're so preoccupied with raising them, playing, nursing, chasing, teaching. We best get to work. Our bones are cracking. Our strength went into making milk. You're saying? That's right. We knew it, Mick. We did. It happened in an instant. They grew up all of a sudden. They had to before the drought. How will they live? They have insulation against hot and cold. There might be fish, birds. They will migrate north, forage. They will know how to live if we did our job. They've taken Opa. Out of all of us, chosen him. We chose him. Ungrateful creatures, not you or me. No one runs away into life with their mother by their side. But Opa? We gave them him. That was always the thought. <sighs> he won't survive. He can't. He's too old. I always thought Opa would be forever. What shall we do now? Like a wise old owl. Do. We were all about them for so long. My, all my life, all my thoughts. First to make them, birth them, 
mourn, sunder, let sunder go, raise them. What do we do? We ought to die before the heat. I don't want to suffocate. I've read that it's fast. We could cannibalize one another. One of us would live longer. Mick. <laughs> the poisons in our systems will do us in. It's the lost nutrients we gave them in our milk. How noble is that? Quite. They didn't even say goodbye. <laughs> what could they say? I snuck out on my mother. Never visited when she had cancer. So, it's your karma. You knew all of this before. I never, for a moment, thought... But why not? It all went so fast. Oh, they were babies a minute ago. How did they grow up? It was what it was. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were a Buddhist. And so? You should have answers. Yeah, you should say, give up attachment, illusion. I should say, I'll stay with you till the end if you stay with me. I will. I will too. Hmm. We're dying, Mick. We'll be together again in your overmind. <laughs> the overmind doesn't care about you or me. We are losing one another. I'm losing you. Goodbye, my love. Tanaka. To Michelle, go ahead. Oh, poor Opa. He'll die alone. The newbies are with him. <sighs> the newbies need us to reach full potential. We must find them while we still have the strength. Bring them back. Start again? Oh, they're too young to be on their own. They can't have gotten very far, not with Opa in tow. And they are going to eat them, eat him alive. Why else would they snatch him? Let's not jump to conclusions. They are mindless, ruthless. Don't know what they are. We'll find his bloody bones nod. Oh, it's all my fault, all of it. All right, stop that. Let's go. Rescue Opa. In a fragile new wood, the newbies are asleep in a stand of tall grass. Opa is some distance away, sitting on a rock, watching over them. The newbies stir. We are, we are, we. We are, we are, we. What kind of creatures are we, Opa? What kind of creatures shall we be? Creatures, you are, you are you. Opa, tell us, please. How do we live? How do we live? We are new and you are wise. How do we survive on earth? Opa, how, how, how? We Eevee. speak. We think we can conceive. We need to know. How to live, Opa, how do we do? What's good, Opa, on earth? Where we are? Now, Opa, how? Evie, Tanaka, Mick. How, Opa, how? Who, who? Opa, yes, you must tell. Who, yes, you, you yes. are you, who are you? What yes. do you think? Opa, what? What must you say to us? You, you, you. Do we, do we do? We do too, we think we do. Like you, Opa, just like you. What should we think, Opa? What, what think we what? Opa, you must know you. No, you know what thinking is. You do, Opa, how should we be? B, B. Yes, Opa, think, do, live. How do we do, Opa? How do we do as you? I who, I who, I who, I who, you who. Opa, what? 
How do how? What? What? Who? Who? Tell us, Opa, please. What you are, what you think we ought to be. How live, Opa, how? 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 Who? Yes, yes, that's it. What? What? Tell us, please, what? Thinking is, Opa. How do we be on Earth? This oh. is... Opa, how? What? We, Opa, we, tell us, Opa, please, watch over us. What think, what say? Not to make a mess of this. Our only world, Opa, our only world. We need, Opa, your words, yours. How do we live? Opa, how, With awareness and restraint, yes, Opa, yes. Using what we can replace, what do you think? Watch over us, Opa, with kindness and restraint. With love, with love, I will do who you, 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 who, who, who. Bravo, everybody. We can all come out of hiding. <laughs> Tanaka. So. Well, we did it. Um, and, uh, Karen, if, if Karen can come into the scene there, too, that would be awesome. And also Arthur. Arthur? Arthur, are you there? <laughs> so it worked out in the end. We had some yeah. Yeah. A computer crash at the beginning, but that's part of our technological moment here on planet earth <laughs> I thank you all so much for um yeah, doing it was this lovely. it was lovely yeah and uh, there were some really interesting comments uh you'll see if you visit later on youtube and facebook and uh, um, okay. periscope etc you can revisit the comments and thoughts this is so great I'm so moved by this patrick jones uh, uh Maleka says i'm left speechless with with little, uh, you know, visual <laughs> memes. Uh, the Orozco, the owl person in the picture is like a character in one of my short plays, wild and wonderful. <laughs> Lee Orozco says, how do we on earth, yep, that's, how do we be on earth? That's the question. <laughs> Forget love, respect is better, clap, clap, clap. <laughs> so, uh, so this has been uh, a great experiment again. And um, what I call- you know, I, mean, I, I just wanted to one thing because I was I've been watching your shows which are wonderful all the time um, and we're so glad to be here but but I think that the, the the fear of art and the fear of science in this country go together that they're one thing and if we could embrace art and I know you feel the same way because you're a musician and a songwriter if we could embrace art and science together because they're actually the both journeys into the unknown um, we would you know be better <laughs> better off yeah I couldn't agree more. And so, so many times we masquerade the uh, decisions that have to be made either personally or at the level of policy around science, that, it's, that science makes the decision for us. And that's just not the way it works. Science paints the picture, the landscape, right. 
sets the boundary lines. But as this play demonstrates, right now we're facing all the, we're transcending boundaries in so many ways. CRISPR technology and biology, everything that you basically have laid out here is in, in one way or another getting to be feasible. And so that anyone who thinks that that decision point is a, new, a number is missing that it's much more about ethics and, and feelings and um, community or not community and individualism or not. And that's where we're at. Uh, do any of the actors want to weigh in? Is there anything particular about doing this as a uh, webcast as opposed to <laughs> at La Mama Theater? Did anything feel different, better, <laughs> harder? It's always going to be different. <laughs> Never really different. So, yes. <laughs> but it's great. Uh, you, you know, it's a beautiful day. Here in the New York area, there's storms in Texas, and um, people are watching you know, here and there from around the world. This will be archived uh, and then can be shared and watched uh, at more leisure, whatever people want. I just want to thank you all again for being part of this. Uh, maybe, K Karen, can you just uh, name the actors one more time again? I don't have their names right in front of me. Yes. I don't want to mess up. George Bartenyev as Opa, Tommy J. Moore as Tanaka. Uh, Emily Daly as Eve, and uh, Beth Malone as Michelle, Arthur Rosen, composer and uh, stage directions. And thank you all. It's a beautiful reading. Thank you very much. I agree. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yes, oh, again, you. it's my pleasure. Thank we can you, figure out some things to do. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Great. <laughs> well, so have a good day, all of yeah. you. Great. <laughs> Beth, Beth, great work. Emily, great work. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. <laughs> we did it. Um, I, I'm going to read one. I have to read one little thing here. Just uh, it's the sustain what is a global online conversation, identifying solutions to the complicated, shape shifting, and epic challenges of humanity's great acceleration. And right now, of course, we're in a great pause enforced by biology, by this virus. A prime focus is making sense of and getting the most out of the planet's fast forward information environment, the one earth system changing faster than the actual environment we're living in. And that's the, that's the digital ecosystem that we're all connecting through right now. Uh, this webcast is produced as part of my work building Columbia University's new Earth Institute initiative on communication and sustainability. A big chunk of what I'm trying to do is to integrate the arts and sciences and the humanities uh, as soon as we're done, share the link you've been watching on with friends and circles far and wide. Get in touch with ideas. See the scrolling info. Well, there's no scrolling info at the bottom. I'm easy to find at Redkin. Uh, most, you can just get a hold of me. And tomorrow, Monday, we're doing a session at 1 p.m. on maps as stories, on storytelling through maps, uh, uh, focusing on the uh, uh, an amazing figure uh, Marie Tharp, who was an oceanographer in the 60s and 70s here at Columbia University, who is the person who helped reveal the ocean floor for the first time in a big way. And we're going to talk about maps and stories. And on into the week we go. And next Sunday, uh, we'll be back doing music and poetry. So thank you again. And thanks to these wonderful playwright and, and actors here. And on with the day. Stay safe. Stay sane. At least partially sane. And uh, great to have you all here.